Well, good morning, guys. YouTube people. So it begins. So, got this area cleaned out. Put the seat back up there. Made this little makeshift bench thing. Um, got some of the ARP. So these are the main bolts for the lower, the bottom end. These are the head studs. So there's six different sizes, or two different sizes, but six of the studs are a little bit longer. And then there's instructions on how to uh, uh, install them and everything, um, which is this. And then uh, the valve cover has to be reamed out for one of these four, either 23, 24, 25, or 26. I don't remember. It's, it, it's in here. It's in the description. Um, main bolts, main nuts. So, these are the nuts. Uh, studs. <clears throat> anyway, what I'm doing is just prep work. I've already cleaned it. So, if you can see the honing on this. The honey mahoney. Anyway, it's all uh, it's all cleaned. What I did was uh, took a, put a bunch of know what's that? Oh. put a bunch of Dawn dish soap in one of these spray bottles, <clears throat> and uh, ended up just hosing it down basically with one and a half of those uh, bottles. So I put like I don't know quite a bit of Dawn dish soap in there, and then hosed it completely off got all the soap residue off with the water and then came in with the air and just blew everything out all the blew all these out all the main stud uh, holes that have all the threads um, or sorry all the the head studs the threads in there obviously I still have the main caps on and the bolts are still in there so what I'm doing right now is I'm just chasing the, the threads so so far um, I've been doing one at a time so I did this one I did this one I'm, I just did this one and this is what's coming out I'll begin focus forward focus anyway you could see it on the tap. I'm just chasing the threads, trying to get all this crap off of here. Um, so, just sticking it inside here, running it down until I can't run anymore. This one's already done. So, obviously, that hex side goes up. Those are finer threads, um, these are coarser threads. So as you can see, you can basically thread them all the way down by hand. Um, but yeah, I'm just running them in one at a time. Just do, 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 do. Anyway, just running it down. Put a, a <clears throat> this one's already done, but I'm just showing you. Um... I put some WD-40 down in the hole, so I set, I set it, and then I put a little WD-40 on there, and then just so it cleans the threads as it cuts or as it's cleaning. And uh, yeah, that's basically all I'm doing right now. So um, I got about 7,500 more to do. Oh, that was nice. Anyway, good thing it fell straight through. Um, but yeah, I'm just uh, cleaning threads. As you can see all the junk on there. So, anyway, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to flip it over and take all the mains off. And, uh start cleaning the main threads and then uh, probably 
Uh, I'm gonna have to open up this tote here. Just open it right now. Let's see what all I got in here, because I have to put um, like the tappets, the cam. I I don't have to. I just would rather put the tappets and the cam and everything in there. Um. I mean, what are the head bolts? So I just got to dig through all this. There's the crank. I do have a new one of these. That's why I ordered that kit because it came with a new one of these. However, I will not throw it away because it is a OEM Dodge, and I'm assuming the one I ordered was a. I don't know. It's it's at all Cummins, so I'm assuming it's a Cummins part. But yeah, so anyway, I don't really want to spread everything out on this table thing. Um, but to get parts, I guess I'll have to. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, this is the piece that you have to grind out. Um, I don't know. I think it might be right in here. You have to grind it out. Let's just look real quick. Well, some of you are dying to want to know. So, this is what it says right here. So, that looks not like it. I guess. Number 24. So, yeah, number 24. Which probably is this side somewhere. But anyway. <clears throat> it looks like it's possibly right there. Does that look about right? I'm assuming it's this right here. I have to notch out because this doesn't look anything. This hole doesn't isn't oblong. This hole's oval. So anyway, so you have to notch this out, I guess, I'm assuming. Unless uh this ends up working without notching it. So anyway, uh yeah. So six, seven, twenty-four valve, whatever long exhaust row studs so those long ones go on the exhaust side of the head so this is the exhaust side so i'm assuming all those long ones are going to go here one two three four five six you saw that one two three four five six so sounds about right and then the short ones will go all these ones here all the way down and on the intake side. So anyway, I'm gonna do this, get all this crap done, flip it over, do the other side, and uh, yeah, so this is just part one of a, uh, it'd be kinda cool if I could do a 24 part, 24 valve, I don't know, but anyway. All right guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe, give me a like, uh, follow the build. I'm gonna try to have this done uh, probably in two weeks, two and a half weeks, hopefully sooner, but I don't know. Um, but anyway, all right, uh, subscribe up here. Check out my boy Juan and Glenn over here, and uh, check out my previous video over here. All right, guys, later.